Rishi Arya. How you What's doing, up? buddy? Pretty good. Can't Welcome to the Estreperous Eccentric Comics Only Episode 3. Yay! All right. How you doing, buddy? I can't complain. You? Uh, you Could know, be better. I see better days. a little days. better. I've yeah. seen better days. <laughs> You want to check out my pain meds? I saved these until you got here, until we got started, All so we right. can see how long it takes to kick in. Uh, because right now I feel like salicoxib. Very nice. Is that how you say it? Very good. Salicoxib. Yeah, All that's right. generic for Celebrex. All right. And this is going to uh, take one of these. All right. One salicoxib. Go ahead. And this is. Oh boy. Hydrocodone acetamin. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. And what's the dosage on that? Uh, that is ten, uh, one tablet by mouth twice a day. No, but I'm saying what's the, the amount of... Oh, 10 to a 325 tablets. 10 milligrams of hydrocodone in each tablet and 325 milligrams of acetaminophen. Yeah. So please pour me out two of those, my friend. Two of those, no problem. That actual dosage... One. All right, two is for my <clears throat> ongoing problem with fibromyalgia. Okay. One of the problems with fibromyalgia, do you know anything about fibromyalgia? No, I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> there you go. And the... The best medicine. The edible from uh, Shiva's uh, dispensary downtown, uh, like uh, 12th and Hill. I downtown. recommend it. Downtown. Yeah. Beautiful this time of year. All right. Yummy. All right. Now, see how that affects me there, Rishi. Yeah. But right now, you asked me if it's hard to breathe. Mm hmm It is like a new experience in pain every day. Oh, God. It happened, the accident happened um, Tuesday every three weeks. And what happened exactly? Something got stuck in your wheel? That's correct. Uh, actually, these shirts. Not That's these particular ones, maybe, but sure as I was delivering to some people. Mm -hmm. And I was also going to CVS. Yeah. And uh, I don't even remember where it happened or how it happened exactly. Because mm -hmm. I remember like a couple of hours before I left on the bike. And then the next thing I know, I'm in a surgical consult. Oh, so you blacked out completely. Loss of consciousness. Oh. Blacked out would imply that I had... Was, uh, intoxicated. No, no, but you know. What yeah, I mean. yeah, alcohol. No, no, no. I, I lost the consciousness. I'm knocked unconscious. Okay. For and I and um, I don't know if I was out for seven hours, but I'm missing a seven hour window. So who called the? I have no idea. I have no Somebody idea. I came to in the, the ambulance and. Well, I mean, it's a pretty main street. I, oh, so I, cops I'm place. downtown right now, and yeah. And I, I mean, I was bloody. There was blood everywhere. Damn. I had four staples in my head. Four broken ribs. A broken clavicle. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, uh, I uh, have to go on uh, Monday at 8 o'clock to see the uh, orthopedic surgeon mm -hmm. and see if I have to have surgery. And if I have surgery, that means that they're going to re-break my fucking oh, clavicle and reset it. Are you going to be awake for that? Oh, I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to podcast it. What are we talking about? We're going to YouTube Ask channel it. I'm Strepper's Eccentric. Woo! Say, I'll come in with it broken. Just, yeah, right? Let's do it right here. Yeah, we'll do it right here. What the oh. fuck, man? A little, oh, little, no, man. Little, 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 little antiseptic in the bathroom, you know? Make it all better, you know? And, and, oh, I'm sorry, my studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People think they're watching the Saw movie if they see you do that. Cut oh, it, that would be interesting, right? Dude, in perform surgery on myself? Yeah, I wouldn't do it, but... We can talk about it, but I wouldn't do it. You, come on, <laughs> come on Rishi. Yeah. You, you're fucking super smart. You can perform surgery on yourself. No, I don't think you so. You could be like that fucking rock climber and uh, cut your hand off so you could save yourself, right? Oh, is that what he did? I don't even know who that is. With a, you know, know about that? No. He was rock climbing, and there was like a slight rock fall or shift, and it fucking stuck. Oh. His hand got stuck. And he had to cut it off. With a freaking, um, like a... Uh, pocket knife i mean like a real oh, like it wasn't God. like a he didn't like he so didn't have a, yeah he didn't have a hatchet or anything right to make it wabba you know he had to fucking hack and saw and but that isn't aren't you going through like like veins and stuff like that oh yeah he, he had to put a tourniquet on himself first <sighs> damn yeah that's pretty crazy right yeah they just don't have a was it the hand that he uses or was it like his left and he was right-handed um that's a good question i can't remember you know what we should get? What, what I should do? There's an adjustment for the next podcast. 
We should try and put the monitor up there, huh? Oh, yeah, so you're always so looking. So we can put the monitor right up there. Right now we can look at the map. Yes, yeah, so we have the map of the yeah, U.S. that we're looking yeah, at we can, behind the we camera. Can talk you guys about can't that. see it. Yeah, yeah, but there is a map there. But we could put the TV monitor, mm -hmm. and then when I we talk about things, we could put, like like Joe Rogan does. I like Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and they do a lot of drugs on there. Yeah, I don't, do they do them like on the air? They might smoke a bit of weed, but they're not doing like That's a uh, drug. They're not doing like Sherm on the podcast or something. Sherm, like PCP. Wow, that would be fun. We could some PCP. <laughs> no, you got some PCP? No, Busted no, out, bro. I don't, I don't have any PCP. No. I haven't have done PCP since I was like fourteen or something, dude. I did it once by accident. They called it Love Boat. Oh wow, this one, that one has the most names: Angel Dust, yeah, Sherm, Green. Oh, Green. Yeah. That's confusing because people call weed green. Uh, lots of love boat though was, um, and I'll never forget, we uh, we were at the I guess I was at the eighth grade dance so that's mm. middle school right yeah Greenbelt Middle School and we we're at the dance, and there was a conga line of students and we were love boat love boat, love boat love boat and none of the teachers knew what the fuck we were talking about. Uh, they probably thought it was that TV show. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But that was some that was some gnarly nasty shit. Yeah. Because they liked the crappiest weed because the crappiest weed, the more seeds, the better because the seeds would soak up the PCP juice. The embalming fluid. Whatever the fuck it may be. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, you know, dog tranquilizer. Yeah. I think is what PCP originally is. Well, you know, that rapper, Big Lurch, he smoked PCP and ate his girlfriend. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. See, we need the monitor. Yeah, he ate his girlfriend and uh, now he's in jail. But he was on, he's under the influence of PCP. Fuck him. I always heard it makes you, I didn't really get aggressive when I took it. I just sort of in a huge daze, but. Yeah, I didn't get aggressive either. Um, but yeah, I stopped. supposedly what it does. Yeah, you're breaking handcuffs. You hear stories about, you know, the breaking handcuffs and crazy superhuman strength <sighs> and all this. Yeah. But of course, this was, the, this was at the height of the drug war. So who knows what, mm -hmm, what's, what's true, true and what's, and what's Yeah. You know, it's like. Um, like the, with the bath salts. I mean, why? Oh, yeah. People who, the guy who uh, ate, ate a face. homeless person's face. It's like, come on, smoke some weed. He why? ate it. I don't understand why people do bath salts. Yeah, or crocodile. Remember crocodile? That, isn't that some sort of a hair, form of heroin or something? I don't know what it was, but people were taking it and they were losing the skin off their face and their limbs. Like, so you can see their bones. <laughs> And people just kept taking it, even though that was were out they there. Picking it off, or were they? No, it was falling off. Oh fuck! That is Crocodile. Disgusting. Yeah. Just how horrible <laughs> is the world that people will just do something? And those are just like very like like people that are like nineteen, twenty in college. How just... horrible was there? But yeah, it wasn't but you know, in the United always... States, right? It was in Russia, right? I didn't uh, hear any about it. Crocodile. I think in the it, I States. think it was Russia, but I think I, it happened to a few people in Montreal, where I'm from. Like oh, somehow okay. it got Canada. it got it got there. Canada, fair yeah, enough. it's cold. But not in the U.S. I mean, I don't think so. Okay. It might have been. I'm sure, well, there's, I mean, there's plenty, probably at least one. Plenty of stupid people in the United yeah, States yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if the drug reached here. Yeah. Uh, why would you though? I still don't understand. I, I still don't know. understand people that smoke spice. California has legal medical cannabis. I mean, legal cannabis. Oh, is the, oh that's like the fake weed, or it's something. It's basically they take like mint leaves mm -hmm. and spray Raid on it. Oh God. Right. Yeah, that sounds awful. It it is, dude. My neighbor over here, right next door. I mean, there's a balcony in between us, right? Right, right. right. But then you know, and uh, she got some of that spice crap, and uh, from uh, her ex, they did did it with her. With, you know, he did it with her, and then she com had a complete meltdown. Oh, he probably did it on purpose. It's her ex. Uh, no, no, they were together. Oh, they were together. Like, and um, yeah. it was like her younger boy toy. He was like mm -hmm. 26 or something, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, we've been here five years now in this building. Mm -hmm. um, you performed here before, yeah, right? yeah, like years ago, yeah, like two or three years ago, Something right? Like that, yeah, yeah. Twenty fifteen was the last show mm -hmm. after I got back from uh, seeing the fiftieth anniversary of the Grateful Dead, right? In Chicago. And in Chicago, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I got the shoes that I got on right now. Oh, nice. Not bad. Soldier Field. Wasn't it their last concert? Uh, well, as the Grateful Dead, it was the 50th anniversary, but they tour as Dead and Company now. Uh, John Mayer is singing for them. Oh, nice. Okay. I, don't, I didn't know who that was. Everybody else said. He's a famous guy. I, I don't know, know his music, but I know his name. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't even know his name. 
I didn't know his name, really. Oh, wow. No, I know his name. But everybody was like, wow, when they saw Really? Well, because he's like a pop star, so it's like... Dude, he's having a blast. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Well, I went and saw him in... Uh, me- I took Reese and uh, another buddy from upstairs uh, that lives upstairs. Uh, we went and saw uh, at uh, Dodger Stadium. Okay. Yeah, my first time to Dodger Stadium. It was pretty. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. It was fun. Uh, so you saw John Mayer. I saw Dead and Co. with John with Mayer. With John Mayer. Yeah, as, and how was in he? place of Jerry Garcia. I thought it was pretty good. Reese, what did you think of that Dead and Company show? It was lit. It was lit. There All you right. go. He's nineteen. You know, he said it was yeah. lit. So woo. That's good. So uh, how's uh, so you've been on a break from cannabis? You said for fourteen months. So far, yeah. Wow. You gonna do something for Christmas? Yeah, I'm gonna. I was gonna hold out till my birthday, which, which is, is uh, September twentieth. Well, that's a great birthday. You're a yeah, Virgo yeah. too. You're, You're a Virgo. A, yeah, I'm the first okay. day, August twenty third. Okay. Yeah. Nice. How old will uh, you be September twentieth? Thirty four. All right. Uh, I am fifteen years older than you. I'll be okay. forty nine August twenty right. third. Yeah. Age gracefully, except for the. It's a bad time to have the sling. What are you saying? <laughs> you know, but. <sighs> man, uh, what a wreck that was, man. Yeah, but yeah, no, I'm gonna hold out till Christmas. Because I'm staying here for Christmas. I'm not going back to see my family. Uh huh. So it's something to look forward to for Christmas. I haven't looked forward to Christmas in a while. <laughs> so why don't like, instead of that we do instead of you doing it that way, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't on your birthday? We no, s- I'm not we doing smoke, my birthday. Let, let me just talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't let me give you the before you say no? All okay? right. Let me give you an al- alternate plan, maybe. Okay. So I have weed growing right now, right? That is yeah. almost finished. Mm-hmm. And would be completely cured and ready to go, mm-hmm. all organic. Mm-hmm. And then on your uh, for your birthday, and then for Christmas we could eat mushrooms. Well, I was I was probably gonna do mushrooms anyway for my birthday. Let's eat uh, not my birthday uh, for Christmas. My birthday I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be in New York. Oh, fair enough. Fair no. enough. Where, are you doing comedy? No, a movie that I made, uh, I wrote and I starred and it got into a, a film festival. Fucking A, bro. Yeah. I, got into, I got into two. I got into one in New York that I'm going to next week. And I got into a kind of a bigger one in uh, Jersey, end of September, around my birthday. What's the name of the movie? Nunchuck. Great, great. Yeah. Describe. You want to give it a little synopsis? I or? can't because it's only a short movie. It's How like long, nine. It's like nine and a half minutes. So for it's me to describe it, kind of gives away the whole thing. I would okay. show it to you. you yeah. Know, after we, after we're done. After we're done, we can yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, I get to watch his movie. Yeah, yeah. but uh, to describe it, kind of like it just tells you the whole thing. Then you know. Okay. No, no, no. Well, it's like I, releasing I, a trailer for a movie that's nine minutes. It'll kind of. And the trailer's yeah. nine minutes. That's yeah. <laughs> and the trailer's like three minutes. Like, oh, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Basically. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, is that was that your first film you made? Um, yeah, that I made where it was like I wrote it and I'm in it and Did I mean, you, bar- I didn't, you I didn't, Barbara Streisand it, right? Yeah, but I didn't direct it or oh, you didn't direct or, it. No, no, no. Uh, you know Jordan Lear. He's a comic. White guy, right? White guy, blonde hair. Yeah, I know Jordan. Looks like a good old boy. A yeah, bit. I know Jordan. He directed it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. How's he doing? Very good. We're going together to the film festival. Uh, hey, next bro! Week. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. That's a, so. That's for your birthday, September twentieth. No, uh, yeah, that's for the second one we got into. That's the Golden Door Festival in Jersey. Okay, uh, where's the first one? one? Uh, in New York. It's so right the ne- chain. And what, oh, yeah, they're what, very close together. Are the dates near each other as well? Yeah, they're pretty close because this one's, uh, my first screening is August 16th and the next screening is September 23rd. So I'm basically going to go twice. Oh, okay, so it's not yeah. close together. The dates it's not close, close enough together that I would say. No, they're not close together at all. They're yeah, over yeah. a month apart. Bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Close but I mean, together, but close in together, terms of a year. Close together is in the same week. Right. No, okay. no. I wish, but it, it okay. was not. Fair enough. I'll have to, we have to get the parameters, you know, get the particulars, the <laughs> definitions. Um, yeah, that's that's nice. I, uh, I have a... I have some ideas uh, for, like I told you about the idea that I was going to do for the live streaming yeah, it's a great bike idea. trip. Yeah. And then the uh, mobile. Mm-hmm. The uh, thing is, is that they they break up because so many people like got their social security disability money and then died. Oh, so because okay. of those, but you would think that social security would be happy about that because they don't have to pay them anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. Why, they're not happy about it when they die? Well, they broke up the... Uh, the payments instead of giving you all your back pay at once, right? They broke it up into three payments, and the first two payments are tiny. Oh, so it's like twenty seven hundred bucks. It's, it's a way for them to keep the more most money. you can get yeah. is three months per your first two mm-hmm. back payments. Okay. So my monthly is nine ten. Yeah. So I got twenty seven thirty. Uh, January twenty fifth, and then I got twenty seven thirty July. 
third or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, and so I guess five months from now, I should get my final, provided the country doesn't collapse. Right. Um, I get my final uh, lump sum of like seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I would have already moved out of here if I'd got it all at once, though. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna move when you get it? Oh, I hope so. I. Where are you planning to move? I would live in a. RV rather than live in this building. Anymore. Really? What's wrong? I mean, the area is not that great, but the, the building. area, the neighborhood, that's the first thing. Yeah. Then, um, basically, Skid Row Housing Trust, in my opinion, is a is a Ponzi scheme run by idiots. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with non-profits, not-for-profit? Well, not comp- really. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm a non-profit. Right? That, right? I hear you. <laughs> you probably are more of a non-profit than Skid Row Housing right. Trust is. Right, <laughs> yeah. Or any of the other SROs down here, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's just really uh, despicable. The it's like, I mean, let me ask you a question, Richie. Would All you right. like to see the homeless problem in LA fixed? Well, I mean, yeah. Wouldn't anybody? Well, they would. Yes or no? Yes. They would not. You're okay. correct. Yeah, they would. It's like a doctor not wanting someone cured. Because of course. They wouldn't be able to, to you know, sell treat. the medicine. Yeah. Tr- well, that would be the pharmaceutical company, but mm-hmm. the doctor wouldn't be able to treat them. Right, okay, I get it. So all these people are making money off of the misery, mm-hmm. true misery down here on Skid Row, and at the same time get to portray themselves as being social justice warriors. I see what you mean. And do you? Do yeah. you see how despicable, hypocritical, and mm. horrible that is? It kind of just sounds like everything. Does it? <laughs> like, I feel like every business or industry has a, a thing but like that in it. it's not supposed to be a business. I know, but everything is a business. It's a corporation. The, the, the world is a business, okay. you know. Mm, the world is a business. The world is a vampire, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know about the world is a well, business. Well, everybody's just trying to just leach money wherever they can. You money know? hasn't been... See, the world's been a lot, around a long place, and humans have been around a long time. Right. And how long has money been around? Uh, yeah, but it's just what we're in right now. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about historically necessarily. I'm talking about now, the now. But uh, what, the reason I'm bringing it up, though, mm-hmm. the now mm-hmm. comes from the past and moves yeah. into the future. Right. And, you know, we could easily, maybe not easily, but we could correct that. I mean, what do you think about fiat currency that we currently have? What do you think about money in general? I mean, I think about it a lot. Just more that I don't have any. <laughs> like, that's pretty what much like, oh, I need money, I need money. What would you spend this. money on? If I had... Well, Are you hungry money? or do you not have enough food? Did you need something to eat? Um, you know, I go through phases like that where it's like... Starving okay, artist? That. Not, I mean, yeah, but starving is such an extreme... Uh, where it's like, okay, I should eat less than I eat. You know, stuff like that. Or maybe you should eat less... Well, see, you're diabetic, you told me. Uh, I or got pre-diabetic. pre-diabetic. I reversed it recently. Fucking A, dude. I reversed awesome it. Awesome news. Uh, by just cutting out, you know, just... Carbohydrates? Ob- obvious. Not, I didn't have to cut out carbs, just obvious sugars, like, you know... I might uh, have to do that, too. Just the soda, no ice cream, no cake, no, you know, cut down uh, on bread. Um, fair enough. See, I recently went on a, um, before the accident, I went on an all-meat diet. Yeah, Stefano did that. How did he feel about that? He said it felt great, and then he shit his pants. <laughs> After a while. I shit like, my pants frequently, so And then he cares? was like, uh, all right, and he still gave it another chance, and it almost happened again, and then he stopped. But he said while he was doing it, he felt great. He was in really good shape. Um, yeah, that was what was going on with me. I lost, um, he lost 90 weight. pounds or yeah, something. Yeah, he was uh, stronger. Yeah. But he goes, I just, he couldn't imagine doing it. Like, some people do it forever. He, was, he would join these groups on Facebook where they're talking about it. People were just doing it for, like, years. Was he eating just protein? He was eating just meat. Yeah, but just, what, what I mean, what... I mean, meat, what, isn't all meat protein? Well, yeah, well, the reason I'm asking is because um, one of the things that inspired me to get started on a podcast again, because I've had, you know, a couple of YouTube podcasts. I had the Gem Smokes I did with Kenny and okay. Ozilla, if you remember it all, no. in 2012, 2012, oh, no, 2013. Yeah. And, uh, Isn't it weird to say 2013 was a very long time ago? Right? <laughs> That's weird to me. It's, like, it's five years. Weird. Like, it's pretty weird. Five years I is, is a legitimate long bro. time. I turned you know? 49. How do you think I feel? Okay. Yeah. The 23rd of August, I turned 49. So how are the years going by for you as compared to... Because for me, I feel like they're going by, like, I don't remember, an, like, after 31, 31, 32, 33, it's like, went by, like, I didn't even notice it happened. Did you ever make your own cartoon when you were little in, in a term. flip book? 
Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, it was bad, but I well, did it. that's what it, the right. years are going on right now, right? That's a good analogy. Uh, well, thank you very much. It's I'm full very of good, good analogies analogy. and good ideas, yeah. right? Somebody should notice. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, my Jim Smokes podcast predated fucking everybody's podcast that you fuckers watch out there. Mm. Mark Maron's, fucking Joe Rogan's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And people are like, whoa, is this? I was like, what? Fucking great prim. I got Sarah Weinshank getting high as fuck on camera. And she was so fucking. Yeah. And we showed it anyway, you know. Because mm-hmm. we were assholes. Actually, Kenny did it. Oh, she didn't want it to be shown. That she was getting high, right? Yeah. And we said we'd edit it out, but Kenny didn't know how to do it. Right. So, like, so he said that he edited it out, and then it wasn't. Well, as long as she didn't say anything, like. Uh... Well, who knows if she said anything. I'm banned <laughs> from the comedy store right now, so. Oh, really? Why? Why? Well, unless I don't know if you can talk about it, but. Let's see. Postmodernist identity politics. Mm-hmm. Well, they do, but what was the incident that happened? There was no incident at the comedy store. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But identity politics. How I, do you I, even know your band? Well, that's an interesting point too. I uh, I had an incident that happened just about exactly a year ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, downtown here, downtown. Mm-hmm. Uh, not here in the building, but uh, at the pub up the street. Okay. Right? What's the pub called? Casey's or oh, okay. Casey's or Casey's. I've done shows there. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I was doing. I was doing shows there, right? Yeah. With that is, are they still doing shows now? Or? I don't know. I did it when Griff Pippin had a show there. Oh, Griff Pippin. No, no, yeah. no. Uh, this chick, really obnoxious chick, really okay. the host, right? I mean, I thought she was all right at first, but then it was like classic. She, she was doing like all of the same material. Like that she always does. It was so sickening. It was mm-hmm. no adjustment. It was, it was no, no fun. It was no fun after no you seen it the first time. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and actually, the third time I watched it, I was like, God, I fucking want to throw something at her. Okay. I mean, because she was doing this loud, obnoxious, mm-hmm. like bit that isn't that funny. And then, oh man, but she was so full of herself. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of full of themselves people. Yeah. What do you think of comics shaped up against? the rest of humanity. You know, stand-up comics, com- comedians, not writers. Comics is where you'll meet sort of like uh, some of the best people you'll ever sort of meet, like in terms of like the special human beings. And like also... Like what percentage of comics? Would are you say? those people? Yeah. Not, I mean, it's like Even humanity. Uh, okay, three? Dude, that is exactly the percentage <laughs> I came up with and told Santa. You can check me out three? there, people, on episode two. Ninety-seven uh, percent of them are. I wouldn't say no. And then there's some of the worst. Ninety-seven percent of them are the I don't, worst. I don't know. Three percent of comics. I don't say com- Hold on. Three percent of the stand-up comics. And there's, see, there's a way more stand-up comics that you guys don't know about because I'm including anyone that's getting on stage regularly and performing, even if it's just at an open mic at a bar. Okay? Right. I'm saying right. Ninety-seven mm. percent of those people are the worst people you'll ever meet. In the in the world, right? I don't agree with the whole ninety-seven. Three <laughs> percent are the best people, as Rishi yes, agreed. Three percent will the be best. the best people. Salt we'll of the earth, just made. Do, yeah, they yeah. do been over backwards like for you, saints, like uh, saints and angels. Right. I consider you to be one of those three right. percent. Well, thank you, Sandy uh, Danto. I consider to be one of those three percent. Right. You know, but I don't think ninety-seven are the worst. There's probably a good like thirty percent that are just normal. People that just they're not gonna hurt you, see they're how not gonna, nice is, <laughs> you know. That he, you know he but then you will meet, the like, you see how nice he is? He's trying I, to be no, nice, it's true. He's <laughs> trying to be nice to 30% of that 97%. That's yeah. the worst motherfuckers on the planet. Yeah, I, what I a mean, great guy! He's a great, do you see why I like to eat mushrooms with this guy? It is also different when you're in the mix with because I, this, this is those are my normal, you know. Maybe if a, if a person who does is not in stand up would meet. You know, comics. They would see ninety seven percent. That's why I, the I came up. I do the brut- Listen, I came up with yeah. the number after I have removed myself. Right, and now you go back in and you see it for what it is. Well, I don't go back in. I'm saying yeah. I have removed myself because of this incident. I got banned from the Lexington just for fucking making the people, Lexington for making people laugh. Okay, for telling jokes about well, what drugs. happened at the Lexington. Who told? I told well, hold on, hold on. Who told you you were a band? The, the owner, store? Tim Mar. Well, he's not really the owner. He he doesn't own the building, mm-hmm. but he owns the bar. Okay, but what does that have to do he with rinsed. Casey's? What is the what was Casey? The it had nothing to do with Casey. Oh, who told me I was banned from the comedy store? Yeah. So I had this incident happen. It was pretty traumatic. It was after I had been doing. Um, I had been back at the comedy store since May of last year, and I was doing the Ding Dong show, just you know, 
for a reason to go up there, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many people up there trying to get on the open mic, and it was the just... The Ding Dong show? I don't even know what that is. That's like the show up, go up? Oh, man. I want to punch him right now. Right now, I'm just letting you guys know. I want to <laughs> hit him. Like, but I have a broken fucking uh, clavicle and four broken ribs. I still want to hit him. Is the Ding Dong show your show? Don, no. Oh, no, okay. Don Barris? You don't know who that is? No. Oh, my God. Why I don't hang out at the store at that's all. That's why he's one of the 3% you know. best people. That's the problem, is that right. most... All the 97% hanging out there. The, the yeah, most. I know. It's like a thing you're supposed to do. I don't do it. No, but, you're right. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm giving you mm -hmm. kudos because after I removed myself and looked at it from the outside, you know you know the expression, you can't see the forest for the trees? Mm, yeah. It's hard to see when you're in the mix. You know, it's like yeah. when you're drowning in the ocean and your fucking eyes are only fucking six inches above the fucking water that's moving. Yeah. You don't get a lot of vision, right? Right. And that's what the comedy store is like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It might have changed a little bit since fucking uh, Mitzi died. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know what it was before. I mean, I performed there a few times, but... Yeah, you did. I don't hang out there. Yeah, you're you smart, know. bro. You, know. you hanged out there. You did the open mic a couple times, right? No, I never got on the open mic. You just did, like, the belly room? I did, uh, did yeah. You did the like original a, room? I did, I did all three rooms, like, on shows that people... I, sometimes I would do the, the music for somebody and they yeah. gave me the Did sex, you do show you know? up, go up at all, or...? No, I did it once at the... Now they've moved it to the Sycamore Tavern. What, the show-up go-up? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Fuck the show-up go-up. Fuck Eric Marino. Oh, it's not him. It's Now it's, I think, Al Bamani does it. Fuck him, too. <laughs> Anybody that got the show-up go-up means that they were buddies with Eric Marino, and Eric Marino's <laughs> the biggest piece of shit out of the comedy store. Yeah, I never knew that guy. So I don't, I don't Rishi, know. Rishi, see what I'm saying? How lucky yeah. Rishi is? Um, go ahead. But yeah, so who told you you got banned from the store? Well, see, the thing is, it's interesting out there, guys, is that Rishi's asking me who to, but I'm going to say a name, and he's not going to know who it is. Oh, shit. Okay, I get it. Right? You know? Yeah. Do you know the name of the manager, the new manager at the comedy store? No. No Do you know clue. the name of the new, the, 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 the talent manager that replaced Tommy? Isn't it uh, Andy or something? Andy, he said. He said Andy. What? Andy yeah. Dick? No, no, it's not him. No. No, it's not him. He's right. It's the guy who uh, does the podcast with Norm. Isn't it him? Norm? Yeah. Norm, Norm from Cheers? No, no, no. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Hey, yeah. yeah. Norm he McDonald. does the podcast with him and he's the and guy. And what's his name? I don't remember. Adam. Adam. Adam Egit. That's there correct. I was Egat. thinking about Andy Ingle. He's a guy that does it for so, uh, some other So, place. Adam. Yeah. Knew, right? Now, the thing was, you know Lila? You know chick? You know the, the crippled chick Lila? The one that's like, she's like got cystic fibrosis? No. Scoliosis, severe scoliosis, no. and she was on the midget. She, she got in trouble for calling a midget a midget or something. Okay, no. Or pretending like she was a midget when she's not a midget. She's fucking, okay. you know. Appropriating midget culture. But she's severely disabled. Yeah, I mean, she's, yeah. I don't know if that would upset her, but hopefully. Okay. I hate that cunt. I don't, even know, I don't know who she is. Oh, she's, she's, uh, she's one of the reasons that postmodernism mm -hmm. and identity politics suck. Right. Yeah. What, is, what do you mean by postmodernism? What do you know about postmodernism? I just know it's like an art term. Mm. But, like, in terms of the art Critical world. Critical theory. Yeah. Crit critiquing. Yeah. That's the ori origination. origination. Oh, okay. So you That's say the origination. But it's really, they use the term, but when you hear postmodernism in the political sense, what you should think of is neo Marxism. Right, okay. All right. In other words, to put it in the Vulgate. Tommy Pinko Faggot. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are you familiar with that term? Kind of, yeah. A little bit. Well, I know Com Keep away our fucking rights as United States citizens. It's mm -hmm. a big fucking deal. Okay. They were already fucking around. You're a Canadian, right? Yes. Fully 100%? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So citizens. how do you not know about Jordan Peterson, Jordan B. Peterson, the clinical psychologist? I know his name. That protested that yeah, pro yeah. and was associated with the, uh, falsely, mind you, the alt right. Uh, and um, so he's not alt right. No, he's center. Okay. Center left, even. Mm hmm. Center left. Right. But he's, you know, you've got to understand that he's calling out the identity politics. His big thing, right? Right. What, does, what do you know about identity politics? Nothing. Isn't it all like the, the pronoun stuff, basically? It comes from that? He, the, the pronoun stuff, he got it for the gender pronoun stuff. But, I, yeah. but, that, but that is the last bastion mm -hmm. of identity politics is, is, is transsexuals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
they just can't let it go. Right. And they just went into the pronouns, into the, and, and you know, so, and basically, um, you know, I, so what does identity politics mean to you? I guess if you base your politics on whatever race or religion you want to side with or something to that Other extent. Other people want you to side with. They, yeah. You're, you're stereotyped. Mm-hmm. You don't get to choose. Yeah. Right. I, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually, it's actually what it is is a demonstration of racism. Mm-hmm. It's the belief um, that just because someone is white or black or gay or trans or Jewish or Buddhist or blah, 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 mm-hmm. you were then allowed to speak for all of the other ones. Oh, okay, I see what That's you That's one mean. of the... F- right. In this manner, you were allowed to, to take offense and say that all of them would have been offended. Mm-hmm. Like, right. Is it ringing more of a bell now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you it, mean. Okay. It's all over the internet. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why you're not just spitting out fucking, right. like you spit out fucking rap. This motherfucker right here yeah. is fucking oh, beatboxing that... fool. Yeah, I'm not on the, uh, I mean, I, I have social media. I have it, but I don't really, I don't delve into those types of things, you know. And the reason. The arguments, the things the re- of that. But just what's going on. The news. Yeah. The real news. You don't like the real news. Or any news. I don't even know. You don't even watch the broadcast news, right? No, I don't. And Uh, why? Why don't you watch the broadcast news? Well, I don't have cable. Okay, fair enough. (laughs) You don't need cable for broadcast news. I get all my channels on on the antenna. uh, All the channels, ABC, NBC. I don't even have a... My TV doesn't have, like... It's only signal is just... It's so uh, hot, though. Because what you're doing right now mm -hmm. is you're upsetting all the lefties Mm -hmm. that are on a losing form... Mm-hmm. Of and that's TV, right? Because TV is fucking just basically going to be a glorified monitor. Okay, people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately, it already is. Why? Unfortunately, that's awesome news. Well, Way the more people that work in the TV industry. Fuck them. Fuck all them <laughs> buggy whip making motherfuckers. We don't need that many buggy whips anymore. Okay. Right. That's fucking what capitalism is. Right. Fuck those people. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, I'm not really talking about like people that are on TV. I'm more talking about like grips. And, yeah, and, like, fuck you know all the I mean? people too. They're just gonna get other jobs. Hopefully. See, but the thing is, is that this is what everybody doesn't seem to fucking get. All mm-hmm. right. Technology. Yeah. Mechanization. Modernization. That's all fucking taking like eighty to eighty-eight, maybe it's even ninety percent of the jobs of today. Of course, yeah. Well, that's. Of course. So that's, let's do the math, everybody. So that means in a country of 320, mm-hmm. or is that 330 million in the United yeah, States? 330? Say we'll say 330. Yeah. So 330 million, if 90% of them motherfuckers was out of work, how many million people would be out of work? 90% of 330 million? Yeah, buddy. I don't know a lot. Dude. <laughs> like 300 See, look, million? Look at, look, at, look at how look how he's fucking with me, people, okay? <laughs> Look how he's fucking with me, bro. He is, he is, one, he's, he was born in Montreal. Yeah. Right? But where did your parents come from? My dad is from India. My what mother's part? from Kenya. My dad's from uh, Dehradun. It's like in the north. Northern India's dad and your mom? Well, she's Indian, but she's from Kenya and Africa. But what part of India was her family from? I'm not sure. Is she part uh, African at all? No. Okay. She's full all right, Indian. so. Yeah. She just grew up there. Two, an, a lovely Indian couple. Mm-hmm. You don't know what part your mom, but your no. dad was northern India. What was the name of the region? Dehradun. De- Dehradun? Yeah, you got it. Dehradun. Hey, yeah. I said some motherfucking <laughs> Indian. No, what would you call that? You'd say Hindi. Hindi. Yeah. Hindi, I said some Hindi. Dehradun. Mm-hmm. Okay. And where's that near? Is that anywhere near where the Bodhi tree is that Buddha fucking sat under and shit? No clue. Okay. I've never been. It's I'm still in there. India, though. It's not in Pakistan. Yes, it's in India. Do you know how far it is from Pakistan at all? No clue. Okay. Dude, I'm trying to figure out what he spends all his time on because this guy is so fucking smart. It's like, it'll make you sick, okay, when, you fucking, when he actually cracks it open for us and fucking just starts riddling me with fucking intellectual fucking shots. So it's coming. Just be patient. Like Keep a wizard. Like it. Say it? Like a wizard? See, he's trying to M. Night Shyamalan me right now. Shyamalama. He's the Shyamalama. Right. Yeah. So, 
Northern India yes. is where the Buddhists became enlightened. Right. Are you familiar with Buddhism? Not at all. I mean, I know it. I know that it's a... Come on, a you're religion. a little familiar. Give me your level. Spit it out. Okay, um, what do I know about Buddhism? Did you know about the Northern India thing? No. So, Buddha, Gautama, he was the heir, heir apparent, heir, heir apparent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. crown prince. Right? Okay. And this, uh, the story goes that the king, his father of this northern Indian empire, fairly country, you know, I mean, you know, pretty big, right? Yeah. King, mm -hmm. yeah. autonomous rule of that person that was the king, like, you know, over whatever size it was. I don't remember, okay? Mm -hmm. Wasn't huge, though, right? But right. still, his own autonomous kingdom was told by a, not a wizard, but a, a seer, was told by a seer, oracle, oracle, that his son would betray the kingdom due to suffering. Mm -hmm. I might have that fucked up a little bit, but so knowing the future, what would you do if you were the king? Um, I don't know. I can't really put myself. What in every what would every human being do if they knew the future? A bad future was coming. What would they do? Hoard is. I don't even really know. That's they would attempt question. to change it. Oh, well, yeah. See? That's what but, I mean, bro. That's how smart he is. You didn't see the fucking most obvious thing I was fucking feeding him. That's how fucking... Yeah, but how absolute was this future... If somebody goes like there's a comet crashing into... It was so fucking absolute because it was so believed because of the reliability of said oracle slash seer. Right. The king ordered his son to never witness... Suffering. So his life in the palace was spectacularly uh, so he never, brilliant. He even brilliant, like right? Outside. And then he ran away for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I should know it really well, but he encountered uh, sickness of first, course. and then, he, or maybe it was death first, right? Was de you know, all of it, aging. He encountered aging, and he because he did it three times at least, until he finally he left. Because you know, once it was aging, once it was death, once it was uh, sickness, you know, mm -hmm. of humanity, right? Yeah, and, and then the he became... you know that he was being prevented from seeing. Yeah. And so he left, his wife, his children, his kingdom, his crown, and went in a search of the meaning of life. Right. And he became uh, ascetic. Ascetic? Is that right? Asc ascetic? Ascetic. A S C E T I C, right? Ascetic? Is that sure. right? Not aesthetic, but ascetic. No. Ascetic. Well, I'm not even asceticism. Sure. Asceticism, you're not familiar? No. So, self immolation. Not, no, that's burning. Not immolation. Uh, self flagellation. Flagellation? Uh, self flagellation, starvation. Uh, they said at one point that, you know, he was fasting, but finally, when he finally became because what it was is it was this one way to become enlightened was the to live your life and then at the end you would be enlightened right and then one way right the long path or, or yeah or something or no 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 not you had to live through so many lives because it involved the reincarnation which is a right. hindu thing right right and they have it in buddhism and it was also a what do they have it in buddhism also or well, Hindu is older than Buddhism, and Buddhism yeah. is older than Christianity, and Christianity is older than Islam. Yeah. But does Buddhism have uh, reincarnation in it as well? Uh, I am not for sure. Well, yeah, because you're because because the enlightenment reincarnate thing. Buddhism has because of you know Buddhism is older. Yeah. So the reincarnation of Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, they had reincarnation just in Hindu. Yeah, yeah. Hindu. A lot of people think Christ What's the came name from is? Krishna, which was the yeah, Hindu exact. God. Yeah. See, he's starting to spit with some wisdom. He's letting it out. He's letting you know because he, dude, he's so smart. He knows the crash is eventually going to hit, and he needs people to just think that he's reliable. 
loyal spear chucker number four so that he can escape with his secret wife and kids. Mm. I respect that a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm sure I, he knows I can grow a fucking weed like a <laughs> champ. I'm dependable, so, you know, make sure to take me and Max with him. Yeah, it. for sure. For sure. Uh, and Stefano. And, and Reese. Reese? Shit. Reese is gonna, he's probably going to, you know, be the emperor of the fucking uh, <laughs> dystopian society that's going to arise, you know? he's gonna. Th- that's what he's going to do with all the knowledge I'm spitting at him and he's picking up and shit. Do you believe in uh, reincarnation? What do you think? Who the fuck am I to think or believe anything? What Who is your gives instinct? gives a fuck? Huh? What's your instinct? That, um, my instinct is, is that every story that you have ever read involving any god or just anything mm-hmm. is actually 100% correct in some universe. Mm-hmm. Right. But what do you think happens I just to you, told you when you die? I just told you. But what do you told think? You. I just told you. It just depends what... I don't know what multiverse I'm in. Right. I don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what multiverse I'm in. I don't know if I'm a primary, secondary, tertiary, you know, blah, 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 right? Mm-hmm. How far removed I am from the core. Right. Are you? You're saying right now, so can you reiterate what I just said? Bring it, paraphrase it for the people out there and look at the camera as you do it. Uh, no, I cannot. You're not sure what, what multiverse you're in or what you, which one you'll be in when you die, I guess, more importantly. I'm not certain that we can move uh, between multiverses. I do believe that we can see other of the, of the other ones. Possibly we're moving back and forth with the use of psychedelics. I do believe that. Right. Okay, that's fair. I'm saying, I mean... Mm-hmm. And the reason... I mean, what, what got me on... One time I ate this a whole shitload of LSD. How and many? You, equivalent to how many hits? How much did it weigh would have to be? <laughs> right. Do you know how LSD is manufactured? It's not, not It's like a fungus or okay, something. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irrigot, ergo, ergot. Yeah. And do you know, but do you know the delivery system? Like, it, like how much of it does it take in it? I mean, what do you usually get? I usually hit. do tabs. I know. What would one hit be? What, how did you term it? How much was oh, it? Oh, that I have no idea. You didn't even ask or know? No, I just took it. He's fucking a rock star. Right? <laughs> and, that, and that's something I wouldn't do now, but when I was younger, I just didn't care. No, it's okay. Well, as long as you know it was LSD, as long as it was definitely yeah. LSD. Then you're safe, you're yeah. Pretty safe, because, I mean, you yeah. can eat a lot of LSD. You might just trip a bit too hard, but. Actually, one time, at the, the first time I rate liquid was at, uh, Grateful Dead, mm-hmm. not Grateful Dead, uh, Further Festival. Mm-hmm. At the last Further Festival of the summer, which I think it was the first, no, it's the second year. Mm-hmm. So it was 97. And uh, what a crazy summer that was for me. And then finished it with having the first liquid LSD, and I drank like 120 hits worth, they said, with some raw, wow. with some raw crystal. That was about 120 hits with some raw crystal in it. And saying crystal LSD. So a gram of LSD will make 10,000 hits at 100 uh, micrograms a hit. Yeah, 100 in micrograms. In the 60s, in the sense. 60s, the usual dosage was 250. So two and a half. Two and a half, right? Yeah. And then, and that was just too much. Too many ashrams were filled because of the knowledge. That's, so, I mean, I ate, and that was the first time I megadosed. I megadosed at least two or three other times. So what is that trip like? Are you even here? Are you seeing any? Like, what so is, how do you the, navigate between... I'm, you know, Par- of all the parallel universes. Yeah, well, I'm not saying only that, the multiverse. Also. No, I'm telling you, and, and the, because harder. You want to know it's harder to navigate than mm. the parallel universes themselves, mm. the, or multiverses, whatever you want to call them. Mm. Do you know? Do you know what's harder? What L.A. traffic? A bunch of fucking multiverses that are watching this right now did not understand that joke at all. <laughs> and the, but the ones that did, it was funny, but not as funny as the comeback. Woo-woo! <laughs> oh, I just hurt myself. Okay, I, my clavicle just popped. Oh, I'm fucking dying. Oh, oh you're right? Oh, 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 that was pretty funny, though. That was a good joke. I got a good joke. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I don't take my word. I do. If I die now, I'm going to be happy because it's down. Because, oh. 
You know how many times this guy's outshined me on the fucking stage there? Rock, paper, holy. Rock, uh, paper is long gone. That time he fucking, oh, uh, I just was fucking around. I was so fucking stoned, and, and I tried to spit some shit, and then he fucking spit some shit that made me want to, like, slip my wrist because really? I was fucking, I well, know. no, you were so talented, and I was just like, I was like, I fucking hacked that up worse than a butcher <laughs> on free pig day. Um... Yeah, top that bitch. That's another one I just out. <laughs> I just out joked him again. Yeah, oh, yeah left his it. ass speechless. Um, when was the last time I only do low dose? Reese, now. Reese, I need a. Uh, I need. Is it a gallon of water over there or just a cup? This is just a cup. Uh, I'm not sure. Can you get the other gallon of water, Reese? I'm sorry. Thanks, dude. Just, I just fucking moved the wrong way and fucking... It fucking hurts like a motherfucker. Are the pills kicking in? <sighs> well, I'm getting a little wonky feeling and fucking I'm acting all goofy and shit, but then... Guys, you you blocked the glit? You blo no, I got the on my logo. Uh -huh. Oh, nice logo. Good logo nice on the logo. shirt. Nice. Good stuff, Reese. Thank you, sir. Turn around. Oh, no. Give him the front, front of the shirt, too. Did it slide over in front of the camera. Back up a little bit, Reese. Back up a little bit. Back up. Make sure the light's on. Back up more. Back up two steps. One, two. One, two. Yeah, now they should be able to see that good. All right? There we go, everybody. Cool, bro. So uh, that right there was the f uh, second uh, round of shirts. The very oh, first okay. round of shirts was just a white shirt with red lettering and block letters, and there were only 10 of those. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was, uh, and they only cost 100 bucks. For the whole thing? For 10, 10 shirts, right? Oh, it's pretty good. It was all right. And then I got uh, 25 of those with the fucking... They're called the ring te ringer tees. Ringers. Ringer mm -hmm. tees because they had those three accents, right? Mm -hmm. Like was, that was gold and blue, by the way. And uh, there's only 25 of those, and they cost me $26.34 cent, a piece. Each, damn. Because they have three colors on the front and two different colors on the uh, back and they're I fucking see. ringer tees. Mm. So I got 50 of the ones third batch that we're wearing. Right. Yeah, these are very nice. Thank you. And uh fit well. And I paid um $9.75 for everything for the shirt and the right? right. Because it's not a ringer tee. Mm -hmm. And I picked between different colors like you, you got a purple because that's an extra large yeah the larges were uh turquoise and the two x's were turquoise mm -hmm. and then the mediums and the extra larges were the purple that you see and then all the small shirts were green okay except for the one single large that i ordered for myself in green so i got one of each color okay good one turquoise one purple one green mm -hmm. yeah makes sense Thank you. I like to think that somebody's genius as him recognizes the sense that I'd be fucking thinking and spitting and doing. It's in the doing, though. It's not just in the saying, is it? No. What have uh, you been doing? I've been busy. I just shot a movie throughout the, the whole July. And uh, When did it finish? When did it wrap? Um, about two weeks ago. How many people were in it? In the movie? Did you see? Did you see the nervousness that he just exhibited there? Because he's how his voice, the inflection of his voice, uh, rose. Did you see how he, he's he's seeing, sensing something's coming? Well, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of. He's like, movie. did you see how his voice, his, your voice? Like, you know, he's fucking. Whether his conscious mind. Do you know about Young, Carl Young? Carl Young. Yeah, I, I know he's like a writer or philosopher or something. Sigmund Freud's protege who then completely flipped the script on Sigmund Freud and a lot of shit, you know, put him to shame. Or not shame, maybe, but just left him in the dust. Mm -hmm. Carl Jung. Jungian psychology. No? Oh, yeah. Nothing I mean, I've heard, I've heard of him, but I don't, uh, I haven't read anything that he's done. Oh, I haven't read I just, I just watched a bunch of videos about it on fucking okay. YouTube. And I gotta tell you, I feel that whether the... Like you get it. Yeah, because it's not an easy thing to do. His books are quite difficult to, mm -hmm. to to comprehend and read and get through, but it talks about we each have our shadow, 
mm-hmm. like subconscious or you know not unconscious a subconscious shadow right and that um, the importance of uh, realizing that you need to identify with that and, and, and deal with that so that it doesn't come through unexpectedly mm-hmm. and the Jordan P. Peterson's elaboration on that was that basically everyone needs to realize that Auschwitz guards you know weren't that rare like I mean that's a normal disposition of the of the human race in, in right. every culture just not, not just Germans I mean just go ahead what were you going to say follow orders well that but also about the what else was it you know not just following orders but what kind of orders were there like lynch mob orders that's not that's not a, that's a pretty good term lynch mob i hadn't mm-hmm. thought about it with that particular word and term but very much so mm-hmm. you know about fascist rise of fascism and what happened with that fascism how that happened how did it happen yeah yeah fascism what do you know about fascism um wasn't it like one rule overall basically I thought that was like the ring in fucking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> One ring to rule I never them. saw it, so I don't even know. Did you never read it either? Nope. Okay. I am completely out of that bubble of Lord of the Rings. So what did you think fascism was? The what? One rule overall. One rule overall. It was more one party overall. Right, yeah. I mean, what were they also called besides the Nazis? It was the... Besides the Nazis? Um, National Nationalists Socialists Right That's what the Nazi parties The Nazi party was right, called right, They were also yeah. Commie pinko faggots mm-hmm. So it's the Communism With Stalin Yeah And then The socialism It was Do you see Yeah Okay so The red shirts Yeah And the brown shirts The red shirts were the commies mm-hmm. Remember earlier We were talking about You didn't know what Pinko was right. It's from the Reds, yeah. Or the Reds are from the. But it's a hidden whatever. Red, you see? right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's got this tendency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does what do you feel about communism? Man? Maybe I'm I'm talking to a communist. Maybe I don't know. Are you a socialist, communist, fascist? Are you a fascist? No, I don't think I'm really any of those things. Well, isn't communism one of those things that uh, it's good on paper but doesn't work in real life? Never has worked. Never has worked, yeah. Neither has, but it's all going to fall under the umbrella of never has worked, mm-hmm. including socialism. Mm-hmm. Like, China's still puttering along now, but don't forget they introduced a huge incentive program. But the thing is about China, uh, you can't copy and paste that. We would hate it to live like that, you like know? What? Like what? Well, I know... Uh, what do you think I was saying about China? You didn't... I don't know if you let me finish, but I do get long. But sort of like just the uh, yeah, I'm feeling the pills. Working and long edible. hours. I'm feeling the pills. for the number to be I'm feeling high. The pills. I'm feeling you're the feeling pills. them. Okay, good. And the and, and the a good way. And the edible. And a good way. Yeah, in a pretty good way. Yeah. So go ahead now. Say all that last sentence you just said again. Just basically I, uh, working really hard on what's imposed on you just to get the number high. That's how you think about China. Well, in terms of uh, the communism aspect of it, I don't know what the lifestyle is in general there, but well, no, they what they did, what switched up was that they they basically introduced a huge amount of capitalism mm-hmm. into their mode of government. Oh, okay, and I feel like I'm I'm in a pop quiz, <laughs> like every once in a while, like Nixon, China. What do you know about China? Like nothing. 74. 74. I mean, like the Nixon stuff, it started in like seventy four under Nixon. Mm-hmm. When you went to China, you right. know about that, yeah. No, no, I'm a Canadian. We didn't learn about what the Americans did. What did you guys were doing back in '73, '74? Uh, besides fucking killing well, the we, last of the beaver. We basically only learned. I'm from uh, Quebec, Montreal. So what year were you born? '84. Okay, fuck. You don't have to know anything but f- from '84 on. Uh, but basically, uh, Quebec hates the rest of Canada. Because they're That's French. That's true. They hate that is the re- so true. So we mostly learned about the history of Quebec and why they don't like the rest. So we learned a very specific so what they got, history. what they got there was the first dose of Canadian identity politics. It, very much so. That's a very, right very good like, way of putting it. Yeah, I know. And Don't uh, forget what we already discover. 
What have we already discovered? Keep up now. What have we already discovered about me? You have very good analogies. There we go. That's you have one. very good ideas. That's, that's a two. Yeah. And was it, there was a third thing. The pills are kicking in. There was a fourth thing. <laughs> there, that's two, that was the fourth thing. What was the third okay. thing? What was, in, what was uh, it? Uh, I'm funnier than you. That we'd already well, we'd mean, agreed. Yeah, that's yeah. up to debate. Yeah, but yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, look, he doesn't want to face it. He can't uh, even remember it. He had to black it out because it was so traumatic. Right, of course. Yeah. How uh, you do? I like your haircut, though. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so we mostly just learned the history of Quebec. History of Quebec. Which, then really it's about some couscous, not couscous. What's it called? That fucking shit they poutine? serve. Poutine. 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 I need yeah. some poutine. Have you had it? Hell no, it's like fucking... Uh, Cheese curds with uh, fries, French fries and gravy. Yeah, French fries, fucking uh, biscuit and gravy gravy with... And uh, what was the other thing you said? Cheese curds. Cheese curds. Yummy. Cheese curds are very good. I'd rather, I'd rather fucking eat haggis. But have you had it? What's not to like in gravy, cheese, and fries? Man. Haggis might be good, too. I haven't had it, but... It's like a sheep's stomach cooked in its own skin or something. Intestine. It's a, a, yeah. a rat a stuffed into the stomach. Like a, yeah, like yeah. all the innards are like Ugh. made into like a, a, a just frothy like a, brew and then shoved into the stomach and baked. That just sounds like a texture nightmare. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's good. Okay. I'm telling you, man. It's good. It's oh, good. so you like it. So, okay. Who doesn't rather... fucking like haggis? I never tried it. Do they have good haggis around here I can try? I or? had it in England. Okay, so you had the authentic haggis. I had, I had some authentic haggis. I had okay. it in Scotland, actually. In okay. At New Year's. Did, that's where I did the... New Year's Eve. 2001. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. What? Uh, New Year's Eve 2001? After 9-11. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Okay. Um, or New Year's Eve before? Uh, New Year's Eve going into 2001 or leaving 2001? I guess New Year's Eve leaving 2001. Uh, New Year's Eve, December thirty first. So that's two thousand one, and then the first would be two thousand two. I would have been. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You're not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. What no, no, I'm saying it was. Oh, yeah, it wasn't that one. No, no, it was. Oh man, March of. Yeah, March of 2000, no, sorry, sorry. June of 2000 until 2004, so 2001. So I went to England in 2000. In 2000, I went to England. In 2000, okay. In 2000, I went to England, and then Mm -hmm. I got, I was there for, I think I was there for six months. Mm-hmm. And I got arrested. Oh damn! In December, like I think in two thousand. What for? Um, for possession of ninety-seven tabs of ecstasy. Ninety-seven tabs. Or, I didn't know they did ecstasy or met, tabs. Or, well, I mean, not on paper, but mm-hmm. pellets or whatever you wanted to call okay. it. rolls was the term we it used. It wasn't pills. Well, I mean, some people call them that too, but it was like we call them like rolls or okay. you know, whatever. Just Units. Yeah, okay. Whatever you want to call it. Everybody said something different, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. How'd they even find you had that? Because they saw you give somebody some? Or? Exactly. Yeah. I kissed several, several different girls' mouths. Because I had like 120 at the beginning. Right. <laughs> or wait, maybe, yeah, that's about right. Maybe 130. Mm-hmm. But I, I, was, I was having a bad night. And mm-hmm. I... I actually overdosed on ecstasy. I ate 11 of them and drank a bunch of alcohol. I had to be admitted into the hospital. Damn. I was in the hospital in England longer than I was in jail. And they let me go uh, based upon uh, waiting for lab results, on the, which they were real. So mm-hmm. I knew I was going, so I just absconded. And uh, was there a big bill for that or no? What do you mean? In terms of being in the hospital and for a long time. Oh, oh, well, I was in the hospital for, not a long, I mean, I was in the hospital for like 20 hours, and I was in, oh, okay. only in the jail for four. Okay, okay. Or something like that, you know, ridiculously quick. Mm-hmm. Once I got to the jail, they, I was out quick. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I got to the jail originally, and then I fucking like almost face planted into the concrete, and they had to catch my head, and I just yeah. went out, and was puking and shitting myself, because I was like, who doesn't shit themselves? I mean, come on. 
Right. How many times can you remember shitting yourself? What's the youngest memory you have ever? The is youngest it, is memory? It, is it probably one of the th- three youngest is you shitting yourself with like fucking some Like kind a of diaper it? and stuff? I mean, if you're, I, mean, I, I mean, you, really I told you he's a genius. Like, you remember <laughs> shitting in a diaper. I, I really don't. That's the thing. I remember one time, like, when you I was. You don't remember? Do you remember your birth? Hell no, I don't remember my birth. There was some theory I saw on, like, the internet where it was, uh, they go, what if babies are crying like crazy when they're born because it's like they, were, they just died in their past life and they're just remembering that while they're being born that it's all melting away. And that's why they're, they're crying because all. their heads are being crushed by the vagina as it comes that's out, what I would brah. Figure. That's what I would figure. Why bro. would you not cry? And plus, think about it, especially for all the men out there, the heterosexual men and the, and the lesbians. Oh, you're leaving the fucking, you're in the pussy. What else would you want to be? The doctor broke my arm when I was born. So when I was born... Because you was fighting to stay in the <laughs> pussy. Rishi was fighting to stay in the pussy. I was probably crying because... I was, was due born. July 4th. Oh, nice. I was born August 23rd. Damn! That much. I was up in the pussy. I had everything coming into me, anything I wanted to eat or drink or whatever. Yeah. And I know I could reach my dick by then. August 23rd. That's a big... Uh... That's a big, 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 like, I stayed up and next, uh, overbaked would be the correct term, yeah. I think. All right. All true. It's funny because it's true if you think it's funny. Mm. If you think it's pathetic, fuck you. Mm. How do there, you feel about pussy? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Your thoughts on pussy. That's a good one. Next part of the test. Next section, pussy. <laughs> well, what do you want to know? What aspect? Your thoughts, because I, I would be impressed if he says something about pussy that I don't already know. But go ahead, bust it out. I don't really, I mean, I am straight, so I like to have sex with women that have vaginas. But When you say women, I mean, like, as long as there's a vagina, that would be your definition, or are you, like, chromosomal testing? Um, no, I, I, I'm just old school, just... A woman with a vagina is, <laughs> I guess, my fetish, I guess. Fetish? That's not a bad way. I, I like that you say These fetish. These days, it would be a fetish. No, right? no, I'm saying I like that you say fetish because that is actually, to me, like an accurate representation about what we know about people's sexuality. Right, yeah. Would be that everyone has at least one thing that you could say is their fetish. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of people have multiples. Yeah. A lot like of things are their fetish. fetish or something. I mean, what I'm saying, yeah, just goes like you know, just you could have multiple fetishes and just mm-hmm. basically, if you're got if you're a guy, walk around with a continuous hard on because everything you see is just like wah. Mm-hmm. Would that be accurate? Yeah, that's not me, but yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so continue. About pussy? <laughs> of course, there's a lot more <laughs> they need to know. <laughs> And it's this okay. part of the oh, part there was, of okay, there was one this thing. part of the exam. Go ahead. Uh, I don't like uh, fingering girls. Do you like? Do you enjoy fingering? Define fingering. Sticking your finger inside of a pussy. I mean, how many fingers? One or two. Would my tongue have already been in there? Uh, um, yes or no? I mean, regardless. I mean, I, no, no. It is a regard because. Well, okay. First off, can you give me a rough? Age of the pussy. Twenty five. That's a good age. Okay. <laughs> good age right there, you sure. know. Because really What if I said thirty eight? No, well, that would still, still be good. a pretty good I mean, that's fucking ten years younger than me, so fucking right. that would be so, like say anything up to your age is fine. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. See uh, see this is the thing, right? Is that you might think I'm being like it's based on looks, and it's partially, at least, at least partially, based mm-hmm. on looks as they as women get older. But really, the women my age, like there's a huge percentage of them that are fucking straight evil, fucking bad laxy. Okay, I mean, I, I'm not there yet, so I'm just letting you know. I mean, it, it, um, and like you're not familiar with MGTOW or MGTOW or incels. Oh, incels, yeah, I've heard about these incels. Okay, okay, so, um, that's like a valid, uh, over, 
like a lot of the things are valid because of just biology mm-hmm. and as far as um, enforced celibacy, mm-hmm. whether they were accurately or they were just whining little bitches, right? You know what I mean? Right. Well, it stands for like involuntary celibate. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, their whole thing is that they're bitter that no one's fucking them. That's, that's basically what exactly it is. Exactly what I'm saying is yeah. like that is so fucking pathetic, but also so heart wrenching. You kind of you understand, yeah, but at the same, but no, 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 no. It's fucking heart. It's more heart wrenching to me than. To know that there are people that are that mm-hmm. fucking sad and lonely out there, right? Right. As that's more heart wrenching to me than you know, a seven year old dying of cancer. Seven year old? Yeah, they, you know, they're seven. They died of cancer. If they had a good life before they died, they're seven. They didn't have to go through fucking puberty. That's what about traumatic. a fourteen year old dying of cancer? Male or female? Male. Lost his virginity? No. Never before he dies? No, maybe he made out, maybe touched, maybe second base, but no. How long did he have cancer, bro? Had it for a year and a half. Yeah, he definitely got laid if he was fucking 12 and a half and got fucking uh, cancer and people knew about it. There's no fucking way that some chick... He probably got like three or four different chicks a fucking week. Mm Mm-hmm. Once everybody knew he had cancer in school, come on. I don't know. I don't think cancer is a... Uh... Dude, give me a break. When you're a kid? Kids are mean, man. Dude, are you crazy, dude? You don't think kids are mean? All right. Let's look at it another way. Mm-hmm. I have no problem with what you're saying, that your hypothesis that kids are mean. Right. right? It seems self-evident. Yeah. Until I realize that what you should say is, kids can be mean. Right. Yeah. And what would mean be a representation of? Um, just uh, disregard for others' feelings. So it would involve emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. No empathy. Well. Eh, there's a. What is necessary for empathy to develop in, in, a, in a child? What are the two main. Experience. Mm, experience. I, there's two things that are that are really really valuable and really like like without them they it won't mm-hmm. it won't develop properly. Empathy. What are those two things? Do you I know? don't know. It's kind of what you said in experience. The one the first one I'm gonna say, which is free play in nature. Mm-hmm. What, so that's right. That that could be, it's the experience of of the world itself. Yeah live and up front close, right? Because, I mean, just being nature would be wooded or maybe savanna, but there's, you know, I associate with that in my head with the fact that they would have the ability to exert dominance over insects. Right. You know, as a kid, you kill ants and shit like that. You yeah. Know? And start feel, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you do it the first time, and then in the second time, maybe you don't do it because you feel fucking bad about that. No, I think you keep doing it. I killed a lot of ants. I don't kill them now. When I see a bug, I try to shoo it away. So I think that's a thing. The older you get, the more, at least for me, the more empathetic you Any become. Any motherfucking cockroach I see, I fucking kill. And cockroaches. First of all, cockroaches are kind of hard to kill. I did. <laughs> I fucking got fucking rid of them. They, they tried to get, this is one of the reasons I hate Skid Row Housing Trust is they tried to kill me last year. How uh, with cockroaches? Well, that was just a, that was a, uh, I don't know if it was, I don't think that was intentional. It just was a, other than the fact that they're so incompetent, you know, mm-hmm. you know about the confidence hierarchy and all that, right? Right. Oh my God, the incompetence of this place is, is breathtaking. Mm-hmm. Takes your breath away. It does. Right. Made my asthma much worse. So literally, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. You? Yeah, I'm having a great time. The fucking pills definitely kicked in. I got to drink a little more water. So fucking entertain a little bit, Rishi. Talk some. All right, it's just me. Um, you can ask me questions or you can right. just pontificate. Whatever you want to do, just like, give me a second. All right. My back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, my neck, my back. What about that hit? You think we'll ever see a hit like that again? What's that? You know that song by Kia? My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. Oh my god. It's like, where has that song been? <laughs> that 
fucking sounds badass. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, unless, I mean... Yeah. That was a big hit on the radio in, like, 1995. Was it? Yeah. 95, well, I was... Um, Maybe 97, I don't know, but I think it was 95. 97, I was on tour with Further Festival. Mm -hmm. And Fish, after, to get back east. Yeah. And Fish wasn't listening to Kia? They probably listened to it, and I probably <laughs> heard it. Man, that freaking edible is, like, rocking my world right now. <laughs> is it shutting your eyes? Yeah, it's shutting my eyes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for sure, for schnizzle. <laughs> Heck yeah, I feel much better. Um, wow. What is that amazing uh, fried chicken place that's supposed to be downtown somewhere? There's this huge lines for it that are like two hours. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, not um, Roscoe's. No, no, no. no, no. no what, what, what place? It's a fried chicken place. It's downtown L.A. And there's like huge lines. It's not Gus's. It's not Ro I don't think it's even a Roscoe's downtown. Uh, Man, you got me. You don't know. Okay. You got no, no. He's he's he just fucked me up geographically. I'm my geography, and I live downtown. And I don't. Yeah, know. yeah. So I thought maybe you'd know. Reese. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what we're talking about? That fr there's like a fried chicken uh, place downtown. Uh, there's always a huge line. It's like an hour long line. It's downtown, downtown. From what I know, yeah. Poco Loco? No, man. He said... <laughs> Why would there he be was like, all, He was all snide, bro. <laughs> yeah, we know Polo Loco, but what, 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 what was the other restaurant that you say? Poco Loco. <laughs> yeah, he's making... Fuck, you, made him, you gave him a fucking opening for a joke, brah. He just owns you, dude. Come on. Okay, no, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Nobody knows. Are you, oh. He knows. He's that's fucking... My phone. He's, what, is that your phone? Yeah, that's okay. I gotta ignore it. You don't know? Okay. I don't either. All right. I was, I was shaming you because I wanted to cover up my ignorance. I'm sorry, Reese. No. Do you accept my apology, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even much, sure what you're apologizing much for. Much love, brother. So what's next for Jem? Uh, possibly surgery. Shit. After yeah, that, let's shit let's, is what I'm like, saying. Let's say this That's bike weeks. That's like happened. 10 weeks, bro. Saying if I have surgery for sure, that's ten more weeks. Like fucking like boggling my mind because and last, you might and you might move. The last three, well, no, that wouldn't happen until January. So that's that would just uh, oh, oh my god, I'm just, and I'm way medicated right now. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, you're like a different guy than you were uh, twenty minutes ago. Twenty or was it like thirty minutes ago. Yeah, it's negligible at that point. I mean, I'm freaking ripped right now. <laughs> okay. And I, I almost don't have any pain right now at all. So that that's means great. That, well, it means that this is the time that I need to be like trying not to fucking move. Okay. Oh saying. yeah, or else you can irritate something. I get it. Monday morning at eight though. You'll Just be talk, there. man. Entertain him, man. Talk to talk to us. You know. What How old are you again? Thirty three. Thirty three. Give your little bio, man. I am Bias. Bio. I mean, what is? I mean, what? Spit what did it out. Spit it out. Well, I'm from uh, I'm Canadian. I've been living in LA six years. Okay. Six? Uh, six years, yeah. So that would be. 2012? End of 2012. Bam! Bingo! I moved in here 2012 as well. Woo -hoo. You moved to LA in 2012? Woo -hoo. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. January uh, 24th, 2012. Okay, now I moved here uh, August 2012. Yeah. I've um, known him a long time. Yeah. I met you at the Rock, Rock in the Paper. paper. Rock yeah. Paper! That place is gone. And, what uh, was that? That was like a front for like penile implants or something. What? what? No, I don't think so. Michael Q owned it. Yeah, he wasn't he the big penile? At, the uh, Bringer show was like that, and he did the penile implant really? supplement I, I didn't stuff know or something. Wasn't that him? I have no idea. I never heard of that. I didn't really know the guy though, but I didn't Michael Lenochi told me that. You know, he's probably just lying. Who? Lenochi. Lenochi, he just said you were a liar. <laughs> Not even like, a liar. He just called you a liar. Like, it's obvious. Like, Lenochi, he's lying <laughs> no. to you. I was just joking on stage. Do what? Uh, I, th I figured, I thought he was, like, joking on stage. What, do you think I would, like, listen to somebody saying something on stage? That's what these fucking social justice warriors do today. They fucking, like, 
take offense at something that somebody's saying on stage. You give a fuck what they're saying on stage. I guess, but... No? You agree? Don't agree? What? Well, I'm just talking about Lenochi saying that the well, guy does comes dick down implants. To... Well, what do you think about that? Well, what, the dick implants? Or the other thing? You, you just melded two completely different topics. I thought saying, seamlessly, <laughs> is that seamlessly would be the word that you would want to use right there. I just melded I mean, two seamlessly. Mm. So totally what do accurate. I think of what? The SJW is not like getting offended by people telling jokes? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan. I don't, I'm, I don't share those. But I, I feel like that's just the me getting older thing. That you don't what? That I don't share those same sentiments. Like, I, I don't get offended by whatever. Even if somebody says racist shit against me, I don't get offended by it. Yeah, why would you? I, I don't, don't get offended. I don't, you know? yeah. Unless, I don't know. unless you're trying to stab me. Like, what I is I would the... care at that point. Yeah, yeah, of course. Maybe See, even a little okay. bit before. But... All right. So is that the hypothetical? Have you been... St- or are you doing a literal remembering of a prior hi- history? No, 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 no. It's like... Never I'm been just... stabbed? No. Never been... Not successfully. Somebody's tried to, though. Somebody's tried to stab me before. Where? Yeah. Here downtown? No, I'm Montreal. Oh, yeah, Montreal. There's yeah. a stabby fuckers there, yeah, uh, for sure. Not really. I just... I guess I was lucky. I got, I got on the one stabber. The What? I think I was lucky I got on the one stabber. What, there oh, it wasn't stabby bill there in Montreal? No, not really. Oh. It's pretty safe for the most part. Pretty safe? Yeah. Except on so. what, what, what kind of religious holiday would make everybody go crazy? Uh, in Montreal, Saint Jean Baptiste. It's the French version of. I don't even know. I don't know what he did. Columbus Day? I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, that's why everybody drinks and goes nuts. <laughs> so. Wow. How long have we been doing this? Hey, know. Reese, what minutes are... How long have we been doing this? What's it say? About an hour and 16 minutes. An hour and 16 minutes? Oh, okay. All right. So that's how long it took me to fucking be like, wow, these <laughs> the medication is working. Oh, man. I'm, I have you been resting? Should you be sleeping? Uh, Probably gonna be like not a m- choice in the matter. After this, <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, uh, the way I feel right now, like, oh, I don't oh, 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 me. This thing right here is fucking me up. Yeah, well, thank you so much. You ever made that edible? I just ate. I think this were, is the best. Were, this were, is the best that I have felt in several days. I think these were four edibles. Woo woo. So, how many milligrams did I just eat? Um, Add them all up. It's only 25, right? Or was it 50? Well, it says beginners recommended dosage 5 to 10 milligrams. I don't yeah, know how I, many. No, I, do I look like I a no mother, motherfucker beginner? No, it doesn't say really how many of the whole thing is. Yeah, it does. Well, I know it should. It does. If there's a label there, it definitely does. If the label's there, it definitely shows. Come on. It was like the four pieces and the one piece, right? Or maybe something. Oh, no, it just, it just gives you the THC percentage of each piece. So add that up. The THC percentage? Uh-huh. 375 times 4, 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 18 THC. But that doesn't really tell me how many milligrams. 80. 80 milligrams? All right. Yeah. I don't think so. I think the most it would be is 40. Because the beginner's recommended dosage is 5 to 10. I'm assuming that's just one square, and you had four. So each square is 5 to 10. So the max it could be is 40. No, it says... Oh, on that thing? Total dose is 16. But that might be in the whole... I think on the whole box, it was more than one of these. It says it right there on there. What, how, many do, how many milligrams? Right here. The, don't you see those numbers? Yeah, but all those numbers, they just say the, the THC number. No, 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 no. Not the milligram number. Yeah, they do. The only milligram number it says is the beginner dose, 5 to 10 milligrams. Ah, here we go. Total dose is 16. Yeah, multiply 16 times 1.25 and 3.75. CBD is a fucking cannabinoid. Yeah. Well, that's a lot. I just ate that whole thing. Well, no, you only had half of this. There was two of these in this, right? So you had half. No, there was just one in there. There's just one in this whole thing? The whole oh, box for one? Pretty sure. All right. Would you mind if we cut this short and I just went hey and, man, and I passed out? Do, I understand. You should, you should go to bed. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, oh, world. Oh, my God. It was I a shorter forget. one today, but that's all right. It was, it was an hour and a half or so. Hey, it's long enough. Thanks, Rishi. No problem, Rishi, brother. give it up. Rishi. Good luck, Jim. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Peace. bro. No problem. Later. All right. All right, Reese.